Hey, what's up everybody? This is Sean from Humble and Free. Today I'm coming to you from a beautiful spring day here in Arizona. I want to do a performance review today of one of my all-time favorite bags. The PackSafe Vibe 325. This bag has been with me throughout Southeast Asia, as well as through a recent trip in Africa. In total, I've had it for probably over a year, and it's visited several places, and it's got quite a bit of miles on it. I wanted to do a performance review, because when I was out searching for a nice day bag that I could take on our travels, I would find a lot of videos out there were really just unboxing or doing an explanation of all the features that the bag has, and none really ever showed you how well it held up or how well it performed over you know a long period of time or people's use. So I thought this would kind of be helpful for anyone else out there like me that was trying to find a bag and wonder how well it would hold up over time. In this video, I'll go through all the features that this bag has, which surprisingly is quite a few for such a small bag, and then I'll go into the uh, performance review about how well it held up over the past year of some pretty hard use and a lot, a lot of travel. To start, I personally love a sling style bag for a day pack. It's convenient, it's small, it is comfortable to wear on your back for a long period of time, and most of all, that is best I think for traveling and to think about when you're traveling, is that it's so easy to just turn around and immediately you have access into all of your pockets. And, you know, mostly I can say your valuables are safer in this than necessarily in a backpack. Because in the event, in the rare event that somebody may come and grab your backpack from you and take off running, um, you can't really do much to stop it unless you've got a sternum strap or a cummerbund strap, which most day backpacks don't have. The benefit with this is, is this isn't going anywhere. This is on my body. So that's the nicest part of a crossbody. And I just prefer it. I have a smaller crossbody bag that I had before this, and I was so excited when I found this PackSafe bag. So now some of the features of this bag. To start, this bag and most PackSafe bags are focused on the safety of your belongings within your bag. This bag features what they call an exo mesh, which is essentially a wire mesh that is underneath all of the material that you see exposed on the bag. The reason they do that is so nobody can come by with a knife and just simply cut your bag open and take your belongings. So that's a really, really nice feature. And like I said, it covers the entire bag. The other thing that this bag has is on the strap itself, they run wire, metal wire, through either side of the strap. The reason they do this is so that when it's on your back, like this, nobody could come by and cut it, and then your bag drops off your back. So again, another safety feature. Third safety feature that this bag has is all of the zippers lock within themselves. So they're interlocking zippers. And when you interlock these zippers, they have this nice little slide lock right here. You slide that back, you put your zipper end in there, you lock that closed, and then you can actually put a lock through there, like a luggage lock, where it fits perfectly through here. So then your bag and your, all your stuff is totally locked in your bag, and nobody could even try and unzip your zippers without you know. Also, even if you don't want to use a luggage lock, just having this right here makes it twice as difficult for anyone to try and access your stuff without you knowing. Next safety feature that they have, which I think is actually a pretty creative one for this bag, is on the strap itself, they have this little dial that you have to turn it first. You can press in, and you slide the strap out like that, so now it opens up, right? Well, what you can do with this is say you're sitting in a cafe somewhere and it's a busy square. You can put this around the arm of a chair or around a table leg and then slide this back through, turn the dial, and it's locked. And so if anybody was to try and saw your bag just haphazardly sitting on a table and try to yank it and run with it, they wouldn't be going anywhere because they'd be pulling the table with them too. In addition, there's also a spot where you could put a lock through right here at the end. So that way it's just a little added security with this strap. I never really use that. But I guess if it's something you're really worried about, if you're going to leave your bag unattended or something like that, it's not a bad idea to use that. That about does it for any of the exterior safety features that this bag has to offer. Now let's uh, take a look at the inside. So first in the main pocket, what's nice about this is that it unzips on two sides. So it'll go open and down, so it gives you a lot more room to access inside the bag, which is really helpful and uh, 
especially when you've got it on your back, it makes it so you can reach in and actually see things in here, which is super convenient. So this is the inside of the bag. You see on the back half, there's a spot where you could slide maybe a small tablet, a reader, or I usually carry my notebook with me back here. So just a nice pocket for organization. You can see that there's a little bit more organization pockets on this side. You've got an RFID safe pouch, which is super handy for carrying your passport in. I always kept my passport in here. Just tuck it in there and you know it's safe. There's a few other card slots and organizers. There's one more interior pocket here. The zipper opens up. Smaller pocket, uh, but it's got a nice little key ring here. And one of the things that I did while we were traveling is I have the uh, PagSafe wallet that has an actual chain on it too. And I would carry it in this backpack. And I would always attach the wallet strap to either the zipper here, right here, or to the actual key ring itself. So that way I didn't have to worry about like dropping my wallet or, you know, or possibly losing my wallet due to it just falling out. It made it really nice because when it's on your body, like this, all I had to do was open it, pull my wallet out, and it's still attached to the bag, safe and sound. I don't have to worry about even anybody accidentally grabbing it. So again, more safety and more peace of mind that this bag has to offer for you. So that does it for the interior pocket. A lot of space in here though. I put a lot, a lot of things in here. I would usually carry a one liter platypus uh, water bottle, plus notebook, plus phones, plus you know sunscreen, glasses, camera. This bag carries a lot. In total, the volume is 10 liters uh, for this bag, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it does expand and fills quite nicely. So now on to the uh, front pocket. This front pocket is a nice smaller pocket. Um, it's got two zippers like the other, which is nice. It opens fairly wide. Inside, you've got another interior pocket that has a nice little mesh liner. Uh, it just kind of helps keep stuff organized. Uh, this nice big front pouch is also, I mean, you can put a lot of stuff in there. We would usually put like, you know, maybe a small towel or something in there that we'd be able to carry with us. So it's got a lot, a lot of storage and a lot of options for organization, which is really the most important thing when you're thinking about a day bag. You want something that's portable, can carry enough of your stuff, carry all of your stuff, honestly, and also it keeps everything organized because there's nothing worse than like one bottomless pit style bag that you're just like digging, digging, digging through to try and find things. Now, for the performance review of how this bag has held up for over a year of some pretty hard use and a lot of miles that this thing has traveled. First off, and the first thing that I had noticed on a recent trip to Africa with this bag, is that one of the zippers broke on me. Let me see if I can realign this. So you can see how this zipper has the pull tab at the end. What broke off was this piece on this zipper. So it's kind of frustrating because no longer was that able to be used as a lock because you need both halves like this in order to actually be able to put through the lock. So essentially, only the front portion of the bag was able to be locked. In order to get around that though, I just ended up putting a little carabiner and clipped it on here and that kind of gave me a little bit extra of a pull tab for the bag. But it was kind of a bummer when that broke, and you can tell that it's just kind of got a little bit of a, a weak spot here in the middle. And over time, I would imagine that that's probably susceptible to any of these bags. But keep in mind, this was, you know, over a year's worth of use of constantly opening. And then you can see, you can tell it's the, the zipper pull that I used to open the bag up like this. So it definitely has had quite a few pulls on it. But it is unfortunate that it did break off because like I said, it's not lockable anymore. The next thing I started noticing on this bag is because the wire that runs down this strap rubs against this, I think it's an aluminum style bracket here, it starts to wear down the nylon in the strap. I'll try and bring this closer to you so you can see it. So you can see the wire is starting to rub through the nylon. It hasn't necessarily broken through yet. If it's not doing it on the interior side, it's just happening at this joint right here where it's constantly moving and bending and moving and bending. It doesn't look like the wire itself has been cut through or anything like that. You know, it's kind of a, more of a cosmetic nuisance than it is anything else. Another thing that I did notice over time with this bag is that some of the stitching in this seam here where the uh, strap connects to the bag is starting to fray and come undone. I can see if I can bring that a little closer to you so you can see it. Just right in here. Now it's the only seam where that is happening. Um, it hasn't, there's no hole in the bag yet, uh, but I don't know how long the bag would last 
with the same amount of heavy use. Like I said, it does seem reinforced pretty well, and I do believe that this strap comes through and sews to the interior seam of this bag to give it extra strength. So I don't think it's going anywhere necessarily, but it is kind of a nuisance. The general wear and tear is to be expected on a bag that's been with you for over a year's worth of traveling around the world. Uh, the corners are kind of starting to show a little bit of wear, just where it kind of gets set down on the edges and pulled around. But there's no holes, there's no, there's no wearing through this nylon on the outside. It's held up really, really, really well. As far as the inside goes, it's held up really great too. There's been no tears, no rips. The zipper pull still works perfectly fine on the interior. I haven't had any problem with the actual zipper getting stuck on anything or anything like that, which is nice. This bag has gotten drenched a couple times in some rainstorms, and uh, I do have to say I haven't noticed any like weird shrinkage of the material or any deterioration or anything like that. And you know, it isn't waterproof, so my stuff inside also got quite wet. So just keep that in mind if you need a waterproof bag, this might not be the one. Overall though, I do love this bag. It is my absolute favorite day bag. I carry it with me everywhere. I always have it filled with my phone, wallet, camera, glasses, notebooks. It's just for me, a really great all around day bag. Like I said, it's been a great bag and it's only really seen some pretty mild wear and tear. I would definitely recommend this bag to anyone who's looking for a crossbody day bag out there. For the safety features, for the comfort, and for the durability of the bag overall, I would say it's a total buy. I will be probably contacting PackSafe to see if they can fix the zipper and that little seam that's pulled here in the near future. And uh, hopefully this bag gets me through a couple more years and quite a few thousands of miles. Well, that's it for my review. I hope you found this video and the information helpful. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. See you later.